interview set today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15 mm -hmm. the first question is tell us about your character well I had uh, a part with the Queen Grace and um, I walked up to Arnav and Grace said checkmate and I was one of her minions okay so tell us more about the movie well the movie um so our teacher got this message from a one minute film competition so we didn't know if we wanted to enter it or not. So um, about a day later, he asked us and we had about 20 minutes to get an idea of what movie we wanted to film. But the, uh, the topic was loyalty. As here, as we put in the poster, to the last gasp, gasp with truth and loyalty. So we've... Um, one of our friends, like Shia, he came up with this great idea. It was like a video game with kids who have to try finish the level. But then uh, Mr. Goff didn't want guns and all that in it. So he just added it as like a chess game. So, yeah. Okay. So how did you feel about the paparazzi? Uh, paparazzi, I, well, I had a lot of photos taken of me. I was... Um, outside mainly, but yeah, fine, fine. What else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Well, for sure we could have like um, filmed more, uh, gave some people some more speaking parts. So like um, maybe the king, he could say more stuff and people who don't say stuff and um, yeah, we could film longer than a minute and maybe six minutes or something. Well, thank you very much for your time, Riley. We really appreciated it. Hello, Samuel. Welcome to our interview set. Today, we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15. The first question is, tell us about your character. My character was a white crane soldier. And as you can see, it was 15 to the last gasp with truth and loyalty. Okay, what was your favourite part of the movie? Well, I didn't have a speaking part, so mainly it was with my, I was the White Queen soldier. I was with Riley, Grace the White Queen, and Ben. Okay, how did you feel about the paparazzi? Oh, I felt pretty good. I was getting photos, videos about me. I just felt like I was some, somebody else. What else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Um, we could have had more action to make it like better, more fun, more adventurous. Thank you for your time, Samuel. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Action. Hello Cherish, welcome to our interview set. Today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15. Okay. The first question is, tell us about your character. Oh wow, his <laughs> name is Trines. Um, I'm right here, in yeah. Well, tell us about the movie and how we got into it. Well, first we got a, um, Miss, my, uh, Mr. Goff got an email about we had to enter a one minute movie. And so we entered and de decided to do a movie on 15. Okay, so what was your favourite part of the movie? Well, when we all got together and thought of the idea. Okay, how did you feel about the paparazzi? Good. Okay, what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Um, we could have done more information about the 15 in that. Well, thank you for your time, Cherish. We really appreciated it. Welcome to our interview set. Today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15. Okay. The first question is, tell us about your character. Um, well, my character is the king, pretty, pretty much the main character. Um, so like, we've been, the, we've been doing this movie called 15 Year. Um, I'm, I'm a chess piece. I'm, I'm in the black team 
and I'm the king. Um, so like I'm just sending out my uh, my pawns just to die. Um, that's just weird. So what was your favorite part of the movie? Um, when um when I look at so so Tylee gave me this um this thing, this circle. I don't know. It's compass thing. I don't know. Um, this oh wait a calendar. Yeah, she gave me this can calendar, and then um Kai did this very good shot of um this scene uh um it's like it's like a wide shot yeah it's like when i look down it was like 30 meters away from the actual um uh scene the actual like where i am um but like it's like i just like it it, it was so clear um very it was focused on focused focused on me and uh tally up because because i'd be t i was t um t i was asking her to go to uh c7 or something and yeah pretty much so how did you feel about the paparazzi the paparazzi um very weird uh, everyone's like against me everyone's against with the other um the other crew um i don't know i do not want them near me Okay, the final question is, what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Um, adding more, uh, hmm, honestly, no, no. Maybe more white shots and more background shots and more lines in the movie. So like, because we have to cut some, but like if we extend it, like we can add more lines um, and then we can, and we can have a scene, we can have like um, the first, the, like, an ending, wait, actually, yeah, you'll, you'll be all right. No, no. Thank you for your time, we really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Hello, Talia, welcome to our interview set. Today, we will be asking a couple, a couple of questions about the movie 15. Okay. The first question is, tell us about your character. So, um, in the movie 15, I was Valkyrie, and I was one of the black soldiers, and um, yeah. Okay. Um, did you enjoy being one of the stars? Um, yeah, well, I wouldn't say that I was a star, but yeah. It was like really fun um, filming everything, the costumes, because like, if you watch the movie, the costumes, um, they come from all the way from Glenwood's very first play to 2019, so yeah. Um, how did you feel about the paparazzi? Um, the paparazzi, they made me feel like a big movie star <laughs> and um, after every um, shot we did, they'd just come up to us and be like asking us questions, but uh, yeah. Okay, what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Um, well, of course, like the, since it was one minute, it was like very short, but like we got through a lot and um, we got across to the audience like the whole movie and everything. But um, I think that like people should get more things to say because like I only said like um, yes king or something like that. So uh, yeah, I think we should have got like people to say more. Well, thank you for your time, we really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hello Grace, welcome to our movie set. Today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15. Okay. The first question is tell us about your character. I am the White Queen and I played like a big part in it because you know, I am like one of the many main characters, I can say, I guess, yeah. Okay, um, so did you enjoy being one of the stars? Yes, I did enjoy it because I've always wanted to be in like a Glenwood movie and this one has been amazing. So what was your favorite part of the movie? The favorite part of the movie was when I walked up to Arnav and said, check mate. Okay, how did you feel about the paparazzi? overwhelmed and like they all just kept taking photos and videos like all the bloopers and everything and I was just like <sighs> okay. so what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute um I reckon we could make it a bit longer and like like everyone could say more because I reckon some people like Riley like one of my soldiers and um Samuel one of my soldiers and Ben they didn't get to say anything like Thank you for your time, we appreciate it. That's okay. Uh, hello Lakshia, welcome to our interview set. Today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15. Okay. The first question is, tell us about your character. 
So my character is named Valo, which means bravery. I'm the character um, who sacrifices himself in the end in order to help the king survive, even though he gets in checkmate. So tell us more about the movie in general. The movie in general, uh, it was originally my idea. I was thinking of there being some soldiers, a few die and then it's just me left and the king. And there's these aliens that want to kill 15 bodies because they need them to research and study on humans so they can make a weapon to kill humans. And they needed 15 bodies so that's where the name 15 came. Okay, did you enjoy being one of the stars? I enjoyed being one of the stars because um, it was like my family's not really in big things and I wanted to impress them and also I wanted to like get a bit more well known. So what was your favourite part of the movie? My favourite part of the movie was editing it because uh, I love editing and now it's one of my hobbies and acting was pretty fun too. How did you feel about the paparazzi? For the paparazzi, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. Like so many people just taking videos and then taking bloopers. A certain someone in my class kept on saying, I'll use a certain blooper, which quite annoyed me. Okay, uh, what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? I think you could have added a lot of scenes, made it a bit more interesting made me have a bigger speech to make me feel more like um, brave and then let the others have more of a like turn to speak because they were barely known in the movie so I felt quite sad for them. Okay, thank you very much for your time, we appreciate it. Hello Mr. Goff, Hi. welcome to our interview set. Today we will be asking a couple of questions about the movie 15 look forward to. It. So my role in the movie is the executive producer. So when the kids come up with their ideas, I think, well, how can we do that? Is that possible? What have we got lying around that can help them? And I can provide equipment or advice. If they come up with an idea for a special effect, I might say, well, yes, uh, our, our computer can do that and here's how to do it. So I give them the instructions. Um, I can do a demo, but then I'll have to delete that demo and the kids have to do it okay. themselves. Well, tell us about how your class got into the movie. Uh, they sent, the Atom Awards sent us an email last year. We won the Atom Award for Chocolips. Check it out, Chocolips. Go to Glenwood's YouTube channel. And so they just sent an email randomly about a week before the due date. And I thought, oh boy, that's, that's not a lot of time. But, you know, I said, kids, there's one minute movie competition. Have, can you think of anything? And like she came up with an idea and then the rest of you chimed in with your ideas and... Um, by the end of the, the discussion, it was a bit of a framework and we used some costumes recycled from old productions. I don't know if there's a Macbeth. Oh yeah, here you go. Look at that. <coughs> so we still had these costumes left over from Macbeth. And so you'll notice that they're wearing, wearing those costumes again. So remember, never throw anything away. Well, what was your favourite part of the movie when it was completed? My favourite part of the movie was seeing all the kids working together to, to bring it about and the way you all cooperated with each other. Didn't seem to be a lot of fights. So if you watch all the behind the scenes video, it looks like you're really getting along and working together and not arguing and fighting and there was no sort of, I don't want to do it like that, I want to do it like this. So that was great. That was my favourite part. Well, what else do you think we could have done if we had more than one minute? Ah, well, I don't know, lots of stuff, but the rule is you do it in one minute and I think you pulled off a pretty good movie given the fact that you've got 60 seconds to tell the whole story. We'll find out, we're in the competition, we find out in November. Well, thank you Mr. Goff, we really enjoyed your time.